I'm Philip Strebel with RGO Futures, giving you your trader tip of the day. What I really want to focus on here is how geopolitical events affect the markets. A lot of people are just pure technicians, pure fundamentalists, but they got to remember that these commodities trade mainly on a global basis based upon different economics, different types of environments here, whether they're booms or busts. And right now we're going through quite a bit of stress here globally in how the Hong Kong riots really have played out today in the protests that have been going on. We saw the riot police storm the uh, airport and really tackle these protesters here today. And what that's doing is it's causing quite a bit of uncertainty in that region. Hong Kong is a major player when it comes to transportation throughout into China. It's a main landing spot with that airport. Also, it's a main country where quite a bit of financial capital flows through the world through Hong Kong. So Hong Kong is a key player. It's right up there with a Dubai uh, or even a Singapore. So with that uncertainty unraveling in Hong Kong, we're starting to see the S&P 500 really break. It's pushing down quite a bit. Interest rates now have gone into a yield curve that has been inverted now. We've got the two year crossing over the 10 year. We've already had the three month above the 10 year. And it shows you that we're getting into a dire situation and things are getting worse. Gold futures are pushing up to new highs. Interest rates are pushing to new lows. A lot of uncertainty, a lot of people moving in the sidelines. So you really wanna focus on these geopolitical events and keep an eye out on how they can impact your particular trading account. Again, this is Philip Strebel with RGO Futures, giving you your trader tip of the day. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.